This is a GCSE on video. Waves. Waves transfer energy. When you go to the sea and you see a surfer who is on a wave, if they're sitting there on their board, not going anywhere, the surfer goes up with the wave, and then he goes down and up again and down again and up again, but the surfer doesn't move. He moves up and down, but he doesn't move forward and backward. The wave moves forward. The wave is carrying energy in the forwards direction. All the waves transfer energy. The surfer represents a particle in the wave, and he is moving up and down. So waves are vibrations of particles or movements of particles. In this case, the surfer is moving up and down, and the wave is moving forward. Sound and light are both waves. Both sound and light transfer energy, and it's because sound and light transfer energy that we can see things with light, and we can hear things with ears. With light, the wave transfers energy to our eyes, and we can see using that energy. Our body interprets that energy, and we can see things. With sound, our body interprets the energy transfer with our eardrums, and we hear things as sound. When you look in a mirror, you see a reflection of yourself. We can describe the image that you see of yourself as being the same size. It's not magnified, you don't appear huge in the mirror and you don't appear tiny, tiny. It's the same size as you. We say it's upright because your head is at the top and your legs are at the bottom, just the same as in the mirror. We also say it's laterally inverted. Laterally inverted means it's flipped. Later inverted means flipped. Laterally means horizontally. So it hasn't been flipped upside down, but you are flipped back to front. Laterally inverted, a mirror image. The final thing that we say about your, your image in a mirror is that it's virtual. Virtual means it's not formed by real rays of light. Your image isn't actually behind the mirror. Behind the mirror is probably a wall or someone else's bedroom. The image is virtual because you cannot project it onto a screen. If you tried to get a projector screen in between you and the mirror or behind the mirror, the image would not appear on the screen. That is because it's not formed by real rays of light. You're not really behind the mirror and nor is your image. What actually is happening is your image, your, the light is being reflected from a different place. We can look at this in the form of a diagram. In this diagram, we're going to look at a plane mirror. A plane mirror looks like a flat line with these dashed lines behind it. Plane means flat, so a flat mirror, not curved, a plain flat mirror. Now if we have an object, in this case a simple dot, and we want to see, we want to see that dot in a mirror, here's our eye, the light goes from the object, bounces off the mirror, and goes into your eye. The light goes from the object into your eye, not from your eye into the object. You don't shoot lasers of light out of your eyes. So we need to put arrows on to show the direction. Light is going from the object into your eye. Always put arrows on your ray diagram. This is called a ray diagram because it shows light rays. Always need arrows to show the direction of the light. We can add another line in here. 
which is called a normal. The normal is always at right angles to the surface that's doing the reflecting, in this case, the mirror. This angle here is called the angle of incidence. We call that I. I is angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is the angle from the normal at which the light is coming in towards the mirror. Incidence is the light coming in. We have another angle here called R, and R is the angle of reflection. In reflection from a mirror, I always equals R. They are always the same for reflection. So, we can find out where our image is going to be, because we don't think that our image is behind us, we think that the image is somewhere behind the mirror. Again, I'm going to draw a plane mirror. And I've got my object over here. And I know that my eye is over here. And I also know that we have a light ray going from the object into our eye. Remember to put your arrows on to show which direction the light is traveling. Now, we don't just have one point of light coming from any object. We have lots of different points of light. So I can draw another line here in a similar place. Notice that these lines are coming slightly further apart as they get further away from the object. And after they reflect, they're going to carry on getting further apart until they get into your eye. So these are wider here than here, and this is wider here than here. Put our arrows on there as well. So now we have two rays of light. And what we also have is two rays of light that if we carried them on in a straight line, they would reach a point where they meet. So if we carry these rays of light on, they'd meet about here. That is where it looks like your object is. So we call that the image. Now the reason that these dotted lines are here and not solid lines is that dotted lines aren't real. The light doesn't really go through the mirror, it just looks like it does. So from our point of view over here, it looks like the object is here, but actually the object is over here because these are not real rays of light. And remember, if an image is formed by something that's not a real ray of light, we say it's a virtual image. Light is not the only thing that can reflect. Sound waves can reflect too. And that is called an echo. And that is your lesson on reflection.